have been wanting to ask is there any negative effects to members of a church if the pastor of the church is speaking against men of God greetings my family welcome again to direct TV proving to the truth welcome guys to the special and wonderful episode of my video today and I want to welcome you to you know the month of September indeed is a great month of courage so I guess you're ready. So um, during the communion service, the man of God, Dr. Chris, spent time to talk about um, or answer some questions rather. So he actually answered question about is it right for, you know, a minister to talk about, uh, you know, um, men of God. And, you know, in this, my channel, I've talked about that severally, but I'd like you to listen to, you know, some of the response coming from, you know, um, other uh, ministers that were with him on set, you know. And what they are to say concerning this issue okay so um before we dive into the video guys and like i i want to say this pastor chris didn't directly answer the question because he has talked about it severally but other ministers like mm -hmm. reverend tom responded to it guys so i'd like you to listen to you know what he said and i'll be right back for you to the like button and subscribe watch this so it's just a few minutes we want to give to this one uh to the to this segment and then we will go into other parts of the program. The first question here is from Isosa. Isosa is from Nigeria. Dear Pastor Chris, thank you for showing us the truth in the Word of God. I've been wanting to ask, is there any negative effects to members of a church if the pastor of the church is speaking against men of God? And if there is, how can I avoid this? Pastor K. Uh, pastor, thank you so very much, sir. Thank you for the honor and the privilege to be with you on the set today. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Um, now, if this uh, person had listened through the years to you and what you have taught us in the world, uh, first of all, you uh, those who have been listening to uh, the message of our pastor will know that it is not required to speak against uh, ministers of the gospel. We don't do that because... Uh, the scripture is clear on that. Uh, we are not the one to judge what a minister does uh, to his master, he stands or falls, and God is able to make him to stand. So we have never seen you, sir, uh, talking negatively against ministers of the gospel. So we also don't do that. Now, the question is, if you, are, you have a pastor who is talking about who is talking negatively about other ministers if you are within uh, if you are a, a, a pastor in our ministry i think the right thing is to draw the attention of the those who are senior to that pastor so that they can correct him and draw his attention to what the scripture says and what our man of god has said about this because it's not the right thing to do um but there is no negative. What the pastor says is not going to affect the, uh, the, the members, especially if they don't join him in saying the wrong things. It's not going to affect them. <laughs> that's, that's what I think, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. And Tom, thank you very much, Pastor Ken. Pastor, thank you very much for this opportunity to be with you on set this first day of the month of September, in our global um, communion service. Um, Pastor, like the highly sick Jane has said, over the years you've taught us that instead of speaking against the ministers of God, we should pray for them. It is spiritually unethical to be speaking against uh, ministers of the gospel, not even expected of Christians to talk less of someone who's a minister. He ministers of the gospel are teachers, pastors, shepherds, and the shepherd is one who should teach by precept and by example. 
it will affect the members in a way because he's becoming a bad example if he's talking against them. They're supposed to learn how to honor the ministers of God or learn the word of God from him, from the, from the pastor. Um, if a pastor who has been in this ministry is speaking against other men of God, um, it is obvious that the person has not been listening. The pastor has not been listening. So it is better to um, do what the man of God has said than to copy what the pastor is saying. Um, chances are that the particular pastor, if he knows, because sometimes some people are not even aware of what they do, if, uh, if the pastor is listening, you should not speak against the men of God. It is better to pray for them. Paul told, told the saints to pray for him. The man of God has led us in series of prayers for the ministers of the gospel. We do better by praying for them. We help by praying for them. And then we believe more in them by praying for the ministers of the gospel because as we pray, God is able to direct them properly by his spirit. So he's been not a good example. That is the way it will affect the members. He's not being a good example because um, it's either the members are going to join him in doing it or they're going to be confused as to the mind of God concerning that. Um, he said the scripture, who are you to judge another man's servant to his master he stands or falls? So that's what the Bible says. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, my family, there you have it with the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyaklume. Indeed, I have a lot in stock for you guys this particular month. I hope you are blessed. And, you know, for those of you who have been following the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris, you've heard what um, or the responses that was given. All right. If you find that your pastor is actually, if you are following the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris, you find that your pastor is actually, you know, talking against ministers of the gospel or men of God. The least you can do is to pray for such a minister. Don't join the minister to do so. All right. You know, because they are ministers, you can't go and tell them they are wrong. All right. They are your leader. You don't do that. It will be disrespectful, even if you are right. Okay. But you can pray for them. You see, you can pray for them. And it's also important that you yourself, you don't get involved in talking against ministers. I've been talking about this, you know, in my channel for a very long time. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. And I look forward to seeing my next video. For those of you who come newly to my channel, kindly the subscribe button, subscribe, like to this video, guys. See my next video. Bye.